I want you to know that when I receive comments, I read them. And oftentimes I hear from people, they say, why do you have all these experts? Why don't you have just some people who know what's going on? Peter Strewing joins me today. He is an auto, not a worker, but uh, tell me, you, you oversee plant workings, is that it? I've been in the auto industry for 35 years here in Ontario. I've been to 43 you US states. you wear a hard hat at work? I wear a hard hat, a safety vest, boots, safety boots. Good. Now, and I know you from a lot of your uh, tweets. Are you happy with what's going on in this country? Mm, yes and no. I'm, I'm, I'm happy again seeing the auto industry come back. Yes. I'm very happy about that because it creates jobs. Manufacturing is fantastic for our economy. Yeah, high paying and, jobs. Absolutely. And uh, there's a lot of high paying jobs in this industry, but we have a massive labor shortage trying to fill some of the positions. Well, why is that? Is it because we uh, are not training enough or we don't have enough immigration? No, absolutely not. We are, our, our apprenticeship system uh, needs to be completely overhauled to allow more apprentices into the shops. Uh, our unions, the trade unions, are starving for people and doing whatever they can to get people in. We, plus, we are not... Well, is it not attractive, though, when they're starving for people? Is it because the old thing, like, you know, years ago, well, go to university or go to medical school or law school and Correct. go into the trades? Correct. The Everybody trades thinks... And uh, that you go into trade, you get dirty and sweaty, and, and you don't make much money. Uh, I know guys that are making a quarter million dollars a year as an iron worker. Really? Okay, so the government, and that's provincial, they should be dealing with more trade jobs. Absolutely. Across Canada. Um, so that's one of the good, well, that, it's good that we're growing so much. Tell me uh, what else governments should be doing. We need to get more immigration, as you said before. We need a lot more people in this country to fill these positions. Now, a lot of people are watching you right now saying, well, we don't need any more immigration. Absolutely. But we have a big country. <laughs> we a have a land, massive country. And, and we have a lot of jobs. Yes. Okay. Aside from that, then, with the industry, what, uh, what else would you, if you, were in, if you were the premier or the prime minister, what would you want to change with what's going on in this country? I would make sure every Canadian resource that is available whether it's oil, gas, forestry, is available on the world market and using Canadian talent to expedite, to get that out there. Okay, so you're saying we should uh, you know, have more mining, have more uh, exploration and production? Correct. And do we also need then to have more means to ship it around the world? Yes, absolutely. Are Canadians, uh, well, I'm almost out of time here, but you're going to stick around because I just want to know whether Canadians are not very entrepreneurial. But, Peter, three minutes. We're gonna come back with another one of these. If you did not know that the Red Ensign, formerly Canada's flag, has now been labeled by the Canadian government a symbol of hate, and they're sending that to all the students, then press subscribe and PayPal and learn more.